school is starting in seven days and I haven't beaten the Pantheon of Hollow Nest yet. If I wanted to get this video out in time, I had to get started right away with attempt number one. Let's go Pantheon of Hollow Nest, also known as the Pantheon of Markov. Let's do this. The Pantheon of Hollow Nest contains every single boss in the game, including Zoe because I, uh... I saved him, which will come back to haunt me later on. Even the hardest bosses in the game aren't excluded from this pantheon. But not practicing before I got into the pantheon was not the move. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, I can't even heal. I can't even heal. I can't even heal. And because of that, I died to the sisters of battle. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, bro, they're so fast! After that death, I knew that if I didn't practice on the harder bosses, I would have no hope in beating the pantheon. And after an hour of fighting bosses that I thought were difficult, I went back into the Pantheon again, only to be met with this monstrosity. <laughs> Alright, oh, okay. Um, Hornet this time? Okay, well that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty- you, you have wings? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, all the previous bosses we fought before, get stronger in the 5th Pantheon, and some of them even get new forms, like the Sisters of Battle and Nos. Just dodge that. Whoa! Oh my god. Bro. Bro, you're so- you're huge! Oh my goodness. It's like, I'm looking at one thing and then he's just there. Uh oh. I'm on HP. Oh my god, bro. Why not? On my third attempt, I was finally able to beat Nos, but I was low, and after getting some heals off, I still died to Sly. Aww. I was already playing for three hours that day, so I decided to take a break and prepare for tomorrow. And as soon as I got on the next day, I began warming up and practicing the bosses that ruined my previous runs. When I was ready, I went back into the Pantheon. And this time, I could see major improvement. I was beating all the previous bosses much quicker than before, and I got much further than I could have ever imagined. Lost Kin, the jumper himself, he only jumps. That's literally his attack move. That he jumps. Dodge. Dodge. Ultimate dodger. Kill it. Oh, oh, that was quick. Can you stop? Like, look, what is this? He just jumps. There we go. Lost Ken, done. Okay, no eyes. No eyes, die, die, die. Die, no eyes. Wait, let me heal. Let me heal right here. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, I was close. Okay, boom. Ow. Okay, again in that spot? Really? There's nothing I can do against that spot. Maybe that's why she's going there. She knows what she's doing. Okay, I hit that guy for so much. He's gotta be pretty low. There we go. You just gotta spam spells on White Defender because... Holy, does the man move fast. He has those cool moves though, though those like down ground pound moves like dang mario could learn a thing or two from you all right who am i versing soul tyrant okay now we're on to the fourth pantheon huh or we were on to the fourth pantheon oh, we're actually we're close to you know winning oh, okay well well wait, wait wait we can heal though that's the good part about soul tyrant is that he, he enforces a healing policy. I mean, he is a soul tyrant, so he wants all the soul, but he also, you know, he wants other people to use soul as well. Oh, we and we go into Markov with no, no soul. Okay. Oh my god. And then I heal? There we go. That's the one thing about Markov's first form that I like, is that you actually can heal. Okay, let me heal. Okay, yeah, or just walk right into me, Markov, you know. That's also another option. Nice, got him, got him, got him, got him. We have 3 HP. 
Oh, who am I versing? Who am I versing? I have to verse so with 3 HP. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. I need to- I need to practice my call. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Although I was frustrated, I could definitely see the improvement. And after practicing Zoe and Markov, I went for a rematch when this happened. Nice. Nice, I beat Markov. I actually have HP this time. I have five. Okay. Okay. Zote. Zote, buddy. I just need to- I need to stay clear of you. I, I beat you on Radiant. I mean, non Radiant, on Ascended, so we could do this. Okay, boom. Okay, he's just gonna do that. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh my god. No. Okay, there we go. Just need a heal. Okay, yeah, yeah, just... at the time but this round is the most difficult one because you have to fight soul tyrant which you know e easy i'm just saying but you have to consecutively fight markov zote fail champion and nightmare king grim back to back to back to back however day three was by far one of the most frustrating days that i had on this challenge the five amigos i talked about yesterday were too much of a challenge for me to take on and even after beating them on ascended they were still destroying whatever hopes and dreams I had of beating the Pantheon. And I was at my breaking point when this happened. There again. He's using that. Boom. Just wait. Wait for that phase. Every single time you want to wait for that phase, use dash slash. That thing will blow up. This is where you get a lot of damage. Boom. And then just get away. Get away. As soon as you can, get a couple hits and then just get away from him. Use that right on him. Just get out of the way. Just get out. You do not want to get in the way of him. There you go. You just beat Zo and you're on to failed champion. Oh my god, this is actually working. Failed champion, you want to get hits on immediately. He's really fast. When he goes back, he's going to hit the bottom. Boom. Boom. And there you go. Failed champion is already down. Get a bunch of soul. And there you go. Failed champion is done. Get um get a good amount of soul. Get two hits. Kill him. Get all your soul. Heal up. Now you're at full HP. You're going into Nightmare King Grim. All right, guys. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's what we like to see! That is what we like to see! Woohoohoo! Talk to me, buddy. My heart is beating. Long departed. Gods. Gods, gods, gods. Like, we get it. 
Next up, it is you. Okay, I have you figured out though. I'm really good at fighting you. Oh my god! Oh! Let's go, a break was needed. Oh my god. Oh! What the heck am I supposed to do against that? I beat you. I win. I win, alright? I beat all of it. Now I just have to do absolute radiance and that's it! <laughs> By a miracle, I was able to clutch my way to absolute radiance. To then die, but I still got to absolute radiance. And I was able to practice her whenever I wanted. And with that being done for the day, I was able to go to bed with a smile on my face entering the next day. But remember when I said that day three was one of the most frustrating days, at least until the end? Day four was the most frustrating day. I died to Radiance more times than I could count, only beating her on occasion, and then dying right after on the first stage. Like, how does that work? I beat her, and then I just die on the first stage, just like that, like, hello? After practicing for a long time, I was able to beat her twice in a row, which I thought, hey, if I could beat her twice in a row, I may be able to beat her third time in the Pantheon. So I tried my hand at the Pantheon, and surprisingly, the day wasn't looking to be so bad. I got to Nightmare King Grim and Pure Vessel dispose them with ease. Maybe this could be it. That was embarrassing. <laughs> and with another hour down the drain, I I quit, man. I took a break. I had to. After what happened there, I had to. The next day arrived and I was out for blood. I would not stop practicing Radiance until I was able to beat her five times in a row. And I stayed true to my word. After beating Radiance five times, I was taking on the Pantheon of Hollowness. Something fell off though when I was fighting Nightmare King Grimm and Pure Vessel. This was by far the worst I have ever done against them. And if I were to die here, my mentality would be beyond repair. Okay, that was actually, that was pretty intense. I, I thought, thankfully I made it and it was time to fight the Radiance. Absolute Radiance, let's go.
monster from the bottom now we hit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Full HP. This is good. Let's go! Let's go! Nanti on the hall is a six times in a row! Oh my god, it's been so long. What is this? Yes! What is he what, what is he doing? Is he like Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, do you guys hear this? Let's go man! Let's go! Oh my heart was beating so much. I was like almost perfect to that fight. I think I only took one uh, hit. There. Oh, he's not even done? We're gonna examine closely. Okay. I think, no, I took two. Two hits. Oh, I deserve this. I deserve this so much. What am I doing? Am I gonna... Yeah, go ahead. Kill the God Seeker. God, man. Oh, I, I don't mean this one. This one was pretty nice to me, I think. Right? Right? Thank you all so much for joining me on my journey to beating Hollow Knight. This may be the end of my story, but there are still some things that need to be done. Nightmares that need to be taken care of. If you did enjoy the video, then there is another one like it up on screen right now where I have an absolutely amazing time playing Overcooked. I'll see you there.